Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you my 3D printed meter gauge enclosure for these analog meters. So let's go. Alright, so as you can see here, I've got these two analog meters. There's a voltmeter and an amp meter. Now the voltmeter does a range from 0 up to 5 volts DC and the amp meter goes from 0 to 5 amps DC as well. Instead of just having these sitting there on the table and then I have some leads to connect to the back or just clip alligator clips onto it, what I'm going to do is actually 3D print this enclosure which I'm going to add some banana plug leads on the front. I'll have the voltmeter on one side, the amp meter on the other. Now just quickly, the reason why I have both is obviously the voltmeter you would use to measure the voltage across the application that you're using in parallel. And then the amp meter we'd be putting in series with whatever it is that we want to measure. I did think of a way to uh, wire these both up so that I could measure both voltage and amperage at the same time but it was a bit of a, a muck around. I thought no let's keep it simple. I'll just have banana plug leads for each one. First thing I'm going to do is measure up these meters. I'm going to draw a 3D print enclosure in a CAD software and then I'll get it printing. Alright guys, now that that's all printed up, I just need to sand it down. Now I can use a hand sander as well, uh, just using this belt one because it makes things nice and quick. Just be careful not to sand off too much of your piece. Um, now once I've finished all that, I can just mark out all the holes I need to and then start to drill them out. And then once I've drilled everything out, I'm going to spray it all down with primer and then I'm going to spray it with a black paint. Now I'm not too fussed on how this looks and at the end of the day if I ever stuff anything up I can reprint the entire model again. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Now, there is a few marks on it and a few oversprays, but I'm not too worried. Now, all I'm going to do now is install the actual meters. I'm going to wire them up, and then after that, I'm done.
So there we go, after testing it, works quite well. Now one thing you'll notice, I did switch around the terminals on the back of the voltmeter. Um, it was actually in reverse, so after I switched that around, all good. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. So that's about it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more projects like this. Now, you can hit the subscribe button up in the top corner or you can watch some of my other videos here. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.